Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Thank you so much for your time. This is such a storied franchise. And what has always intrigued me was the blurring of the lines between the mm-hmm. real world and the spiritual realm. When you start to mm-hmm. intermingle your characters between those two worlds, what are the, the must hits for you to stay in that, that, that realm of, of horror, mm-hmm. but still make it fresh and new for an audience today, new to the franchise? Oh yeah. Um, Man, I think it's really about balancing like the real life horror with the the fake horror. Um, you know, I, I personally don't believe in ghosts, but I think like they're really great um, horror trope. But then also ghosts are so metaphorical for like, you know, the things we feel that aren't there, but are clearly connected to something deep within us or our subconscious or trauma or a dark history or past. And um and so I think with, with my characters existing in the real world and some of them being very resistant to Candyman and in some humorous ways and or really believing in it in very dangerous ways, um, um, it's really about letting all those people exist. So I, yes, it's like a towing of the line, but it's also sort of presenting both, we're not even both, all, all sort of uh, colors of it. Mm-hmm. When and there are some really iconic shots that are part of this franchise, like the shot of the mm-hmm. pretty Cabrini Green there in mm-hmm. Chicago. When you were first kind of taking the lay of the land and mm-hmm. becoming involved, what was the jumping off point for you? Was it more about seeing the locales or was it more mm-hmm. about diving into the material? Oh, definitely. It was being in Chicago, seeing the locations. Uh, Nick Rafferty, our location manager, who was amazing and, you know, helped us get in to shoot in, uh, in Cabrini. Um, you know, he took me on this big tour around Chicago. Um, and I got to like see everything and talk to people and like really, you know, we have a historian we talked to. Um, that was so much, that was so important. I mean, infused so much of that, um, so much of what I learned um, directly into the film. Mm-hmm. You have this marvelous cast with Yaya and Tiana and and the rest of the cast who seem to have wonderful chemistry with each Mm. other while invoking fear or responding Mm. to fear. When you Mm. gathered with them when they were shooting some of those pivotal scenes, did you give them instruction or are you more hands on like that? Or is it let's see how it goes Mm. and then pedal Um. it? Um, a mix of both. I think, you know, you definitely want to let actors feel free and safe, but I think it's also like, you know, we're not doing like Shakespeare in the field, you know, so I have to be like, the camera's going to be here. You kind of make sure, you know, like, um, so it's a balance and a balance I really love because I love that collaboration. Um, but also because it was such so specific, um, we, the main thing is making sure we're on the same page and we're all like building towards the same thing, but the way we get there, I think can be, oops, sorry. We want to make sure we're on the same page and building towards the same thing. But I think the way we get there can be um, really can be can be unexpected and different. Mm-hmm. And lastly, without telling us the, what scene it is, was there a scene in the middle, the beginning or the end that you saw back after shooting that just made you go oh, like what was the what part mm-hmm. of the film made you gasp after you shot it? Just in oh, funny. Oh, um, oh, that's so funny. Um, so much of things we shot with Coleman, because he's just amazing. And then also the ending. I quite, I quite love the ending. It was awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Very, very thank proud you. of you. Very happy to see this film. Oh, again. Thank you. So all the things that you're doing are super team Niall Red Black Girl Nerds. Ah, oh, thank you. Because I love you guys too. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Well, till next time. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.